you know, challenge with robotics is that they're start by roboticists. And the roboticist typically has no idea of the industry, uh, no idea of how incentives are structured, yes. no ideas of how services are bought. And you come up with business models and no idea about pricing, right, and margins. Yeah. And then the last bit that has to do with the technology is that robots always talk about which tasks can I automate. And the reality is humans are very versatile, organic robots, yes. if you like, right? And we're very able to do a range of tasks. So if the roboticist comes and says, take painting, for example, I have um, automated this, like the painting of the large flat surfaces, but I will still need people to do the taping and the edge finishing and the corners, mm -hmm. right? I think thinking about not just which task you, but the, what is a logical grouping of tasks mm -hmm. that you actually need to automate? And then how does this logical grouping of tasks that the robot can now do fits into the overall process mm -hmm. so that my overall, I can get that productivity out. It's not just a theoretical number, but I can actually see that fall to the bottom line.